or getting melted down. This is called getting bananized. This is how you hone your argument to its bulletproof. Okay, bulletproof. Raheem, you to guys be fair, you are, you are far nicer than the left would treat us if our arguments weren't good. So it's good that we, uh, we run these through you first. Look, I have the 21st century solution to this argument okay. over, over you know, okay. how you get into these yeah. machines. It's called a hackathon, right? You, ha you have 48 hours, 72 hours in a room with the machines, with everything that you need. You can have left-wing groups. You can have right-wing groups. You can have Perfect. independent groups. You can okay. have anything you want. Anybody can go in there. You sign a thing. You say you can't talk about the proprietary nature of the system outside of the room, but you Allow people, everybody who wants to go in, in the room, get to grips with it. Mayor, we've got to get to Michael and Dale's recovery network, but I've got to ask you, everybody wants to know, you've got the receipts on this stuff. Leave the machines aside. I'm talking about everything else. You went from Gettysburg to sure. Phoenix to Atlanta. Does the president need to put forth that case, given the fact that they're going to try to put him on trial for accessory to murder? Of course murder? he does. He, doing has to show, he has to show that his raising issues about the election was entirely legitimate that there are issues supported by facts and evidence and that the censorship has blocked that and it's become a matter of propaganda. But even more importantly, he has to separate himself from that riot that took place because he didn't have anything to do with it. He gave a perfectly normal speech like the Ukrainian conversation he had and that was planned well in advance and some of the people who planned it were intending to dump him as president. They thought he'd be thrown out of office as a result of what they were doing. That's what John Sullivan writes on January 3rd. The same John Sullivan who says he was a Trump supporter. What a bunch of nonsense. Here it is, right here, in black and white. So he needs to get those, that evidence in front of the American people. And otherwise, otherwise they're going to start saying, if you raise issues about the election, you're committing insurrection. And they try to put you in jail for free speech. He has to justify why he was raising issues. There is tons Mayor, of we gotta, Mayor, Mayor, we got to bounce together. But real quickly, the next podcast on your podcast, which is on fire, comes out when? Comes out, uh, well, there's one out today, and it's called The Story Behind Biden's Switching uh, on Impeachment, why he did it and wow. how it's part of his strategy. And the one after is going to ask the question, if America's not first, who is? Okay, so you know the the podcast, your podcast is going to be up today at what, 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock? Uh, it went up yesterday at 6. That's the story behind yep. Biden supporting yep. impeachment, switching positions. And then tomorrow there'll be one on, if America is not first, who yep. is? Rudy's Common Sense. We're going to push this in so everybody gets to it. He's got a show a live 3 to 4 on WABC. Mayor Giuliani, thank you very much for joining us today. And thank you, Steve. Pandemic. Excellent. Okay, I want to... I want to bring in Melissa Hooray, Executive Director of the Lindell Recovery Network. They're after Mike Lindell personally to destroy him. They're after his company, Mike Pillow, to destroy him. And they're after the closest thing to his heart, the Recovery Network. Melissa, just rip it. Tell us what this is. Why is it so important? Why is it so close to Mike Lindell's heart, even more than the company and the election fraud he's talking about? This is the centerpiece of who he is, and they're trying to destroy it. What is going on? Steve, thanks so much for having me back today. I did speak with Mike last night. He's doing great. And I want you to know that nothing is going to take down this platform. It's spiritual warfare coming against it, and it's not going to work. This is bigger than Mike. This is bigger than anyone. Um, this is It's going to happen. The Lord has his hand upon it. And I want people to know that the platform is up and running now, LindellRecoveryNetwork.org. Mike is allowing people all access to all areas of the platform, areas that would be you'd previously need a code to get into. And I need to focus on this online treatment piece today. It's an amazing, amazing program that normally would cost $2,500. And people can go on there right now and access the videos for free from the privacy of their own homes. And what I want to also illustrate is that LRN, the Lindell Recovery Network, is not a treatment center. This is not treatment as usual. We don't need any more traditional treatments. Um, you know, people fail in traditional treatment, many of them, because there is no heart restoration. So given the COVID situation, many people aren't even going to treatment. They're not leaving their house. We need to find a way to reach people a revolutionary way that, that's outside the bounds of a treatment building. You know, I want to share a little statistic with you. We have about 20 million people in the U.S. who struggle with substance use disorders, and a very small percentage, maybe 10 to 13 percent of those people ever make it into a treatment building because of various barriers and 
and factors that get in the way. And even of those people that do get to treatment, maybe 20 or 30 percent will stay sober for one year. So traditional treatment has a lot of uh, problems with it. We need a different way to reach people who aren't going to ever go to a traditional treatment center. So you can go to LindellRecoveryNetwork.org right now. It's all going to be open to you. You can watch the videos, the hope stories. We've got sermons and testimonials up there. Very inspiring. I've prayed over each one of these testimonials, and the Holy Spirit has led me to put them on there. And we have a bunch of vetted Christian treatment centers, too. If people are ready to take the leap into treatment, we've vetted them. They're in every state. But I want to tell you about this online help. This is the same program Mike went through in 2017. So Mike had become a Christian, but he had not surrendered to Jesus. And he went through this program, this heart restoration program, and on February 17, 2017, he did a full surrender to Jesus. And that was when everything changed for him. He was able to heal those wounds in his heart from childhood, the, the wounds of, you know, of having a broken home and fatherlessness and a spirit of unworthiness. He, until people can be set free from that stuff, Steve, they're going to keep going back into that same old addictive cycle where they pick up their drug or their drink in order to cope with with those wounds and the traumas from childhood so I went through the women's version of this program a year ago it's amazing and Mike took five of us from the company and enabled us to go through this incredible program and right now people can access this from the privacy and comfort of their own home I don't know about other addicted people out there but I'm tired of well-intentioned experts and and people telling me what I should do. Research also tells us that when people have an active role in their treatment, they do much better when they're able to make choices for their own lives and they're able to navigate the course of what they're doing. So this enables people to do just that. It's addict speaking to addict. So go to the website, LindellRecoveryNetwork.org. Then go to Lindell Recovery Network or it's all free. Then get all access to it right now. Correct, Melissa? Yes, option C is where you're going to find those heart restoration videos. There's an introduction video, six teachings, and then a healing prayer at the end. Mike is a huge yeah. believer in this. That without the heart restoration, like I said, people just keep falling back into the revolving door of more addiction treatments. Go and pay $30,000 to go to treatment. The, what you're showing there, those are some of the people who have shared their experience with being you know, in bondage okay. to addiction. Melissa, we, we've got a hard stop. We're going to pick this back up at 5 o'clock. Melissa Hooray, Executive Director of the Lindell Recovery. This is what Mike Lindell's fighting for. And it is spiritual warfare from the from the floor of Wall Street to Wyoming to spiritual warfare. We'll be back at five o'clock. National Pulse at three. See you at five. <laughs> 